Well, former employees of a popular Charlotte-based women's clothing brand say they are out of jobs because of money troubles. Girl Tribe owners say the owners' claims aren't true. As Savannah Rudisell reports, the two sides have two very different stories. A lot of women and girls coming up to us being like, we love everything that you guys stand for. Like, we love this, girls supporting girls, and we're all standing there like so fragile, like about to cry at any point. Former Girl Tribe employees say the chain's owners fired or got resignations from half a dozen corporate workers in a 72-hour span. That was less than two weeks ago. They blame the state of company finances and how they were handled. We all knew like the clock was ticking for all of us. Several former employees who spoke with us Monday want to remain anonymous for fear of retribution from owners Sarah Baucom and Carrie Baker. Workers claim that they first saw cracks in the company's health when they were forced to work a warehouse sale without pay. The wording was, you're either on the bus or you're off the bus. Essentially, we're like, we won't have jobs if we don't do this. The workers say Baucom and Baker let one employee go during the event. Other corporate staff members were soon called in for difficult conversations. We sort of felt like we were forced to resign because we were told, like, day to day, you're not promised a job. The employees claim they were told the company did not have enough money to keep everyone on the payroll. Others say they saw early signs of Girl Tribe's financial troubles, citing the owner's sale of store furniture and equipment on Facebook Marketplace. For the past two weeks, former workers say they've been trying to get in contact with the owners to get documentation of termination so they could file for unemployment. Queen City News reached out to Girl Tribe's owners, asking them about the employees' claims. Valcom responded in an email saying, quote, of course, this is false information. She then promised the company's public relations manager would send us a statement. We did not hear back Monday night. Employees say they want the business owners, who pride themselves on empowering women, to take accountability. They still maintain that, like, we were paid too much, we were given too much PTO, and that, like, we were the, like, our salaries and positions were the problem and not, like, whatever they, what the money was being spent on. Girl Tribe executives responded with a statement today. They say the company's financial health is well intact and all employees have been paid for their work. In an email, brand leaders say the company is currently restructuring as it implements strategic business initiatives, such as expanding their online operation, creating new license and collections, and finalizing a new print shop with new equipment. They also say, quote, overall, this seems like a disgruntled employee trying to slander the name of a successful female-owned business.